Welcome back. When we talked about lists, we saw our special type of none, where some methods that worked on lists didn't really produce anything. They modified the lists in place, but the output of whatever they were doing was this thing none. Remember how we had in the output this none? What does that mean? If you remember, I mentioned none as a special data type that exists in Python. And most languages have something like this to represent the absence of value. In some other languages, you might have heard of null, which is another thing that, again, represents the absence of value. Now, why is this useful? Well, for now, it's hard to really conceptualize it. We'll see it being used a lot more as we get further into the course. But I could do something like a equals none. Let's say, for example, we're just starting a video game. And in this video game, we have a user's weapons. But when you're just starting the game, there are no weapons that the user has. Well, in that case, we might want to assign the variable weapons. Maybe in our code, we use this variable. But we also want to know that this user doesn't really have any weapons. It's none. So this is completely valid Python. If I run this, I get none. And we'll explore this a little bit more throughout the course, like I said. But hopefully, this way, you're not intimidated when you see it. As the name suggests, it's just nothing. 